This is the reason why she decided to make you wait three dates or more before she decided to sleep with you. And the fact that you slept with him? So the first reason she holds sex from you is because you're too good. And I mean that, you are way too good. I just don't know how to stop thinking that you're too good to be true. What I mean by that is that you came off as great boyfriend material. And while it's great to be seen as great boyfriend material, it's not gonna get you laid. <sighs> I need to get laid. And so why does this happen? Because girls tend to need a very good mix, a decent balance between sexual attraction and comfort. Once a girl has those two things, that is a perfect combination for her to sleep with you on the first date. Now let me tell you what I mean by that. A lot of you guys that are just being seen as boyfriend material, what ends up happening there is that you put too much comfort and not enough sexual attraction, not enough attraction in general. Even if I find you attractive. And so what that does is she says, I don't want him to think I'm a whore, but sexual attraction, yes, it's kind of there, but I would rather him think I'm a nice girl. How do you know I'm a nice girl? Because I feel comfortable around him and I think he'd be a great boyfriend. And so that's why I'm gonna make him wait. And this is honestly pretty fucking bad because then I know for a fact that if she's going on so many hinge dates, there's one guy that successfully brought the walls down, we'll say. And I know because I'm that guy. Right now, I'm that guy. I know because Brandon's that guy. I know because because our students are that guy and you want to get there too. So what do you do to fix this problem? Houston, we have a problem. Well, the answer is actually pretty simple. The answer is that I want you to think of sexual attraction as an output, not an input. This is what a lot of dating coaches and pickup artists and all those gurus get wrong, where they think that sexual attraction and escalation is an input and sex is the output. No, the escalation, the tension, and the sex itself is the output Jacking it into his own output. What is the input becomes a question, and the fact that you don't know what those inputs are is a reason you're not able to take her home on the first night. It's a reason she's not able to sleep with you. I'm not going to sleep with you. And how do you do that? Well, the input is number one, being a good flirt, learning how to flirt properly, learning how to elevate her emotions, make her feel good, make her have fun, make her laugh, make her tease you a little bit, get that banter going. That's the definition of flirting. It's just subliminally messaging that you like each other. I like you so much. Without telling each other directly that you like each other. That's all flirting is. And so if you guys do not know how to flirt, you want to get better, more witty, you actually want a formula, something that works, click the link below, schedule a call with us during our 10 week program of the Extreme Confidence Blueprint. We walk you through how to do that in addition to building the right comfort and the right mix so she can sleep with you on the first night. Back to how to build that flirty and that flirtatious vibe. This is something that's gonna be done right at the beginning of the day. Start right at the beginning. You actually want to do this throughout the entirety of the day while simultaneously showing those boyfriend behaviors. You got to have a good mix of both and that's the major reason why women don't sleep with you on the first date. There's another reason why she doesn't sleep with you. It's obvious she won't sleep with you. And that's because you come off too judgmental. The break? Yeah, no, I'm not judging you. I'm not the judgmental type at all because I could care less, frankly. I'm only going to judge if I'm planning on marrying the girl because a judgment is required to make a decision. I don't care who you are, but you do have to make that judgment. During a first date, I don't judge at all because I don't even know I'm going to marry the girl, so I truly don't judge her at all. If she tells me she slept with, you know, 10, 20 men, that's on her. I don't care. That's on you, fuller! Vice versa, if she slept with five men, one man, two men, I'm not going to judge her for it, right? I'm not there to judge at all. I'm there to get to know her. And if if something else happens, then it happens. As simple as that. But a lot of you guys get really judgmental with her. And because you get judgmental, she decides not to sleep with you. But I didn't want any problems. So I decided not to sleep with it. She wants to feel zero anxiety. She doesn't want to feel like a whore, at least not out in public. Behind closed doors is a whole different topic. But at the beginning, she just doesn't want to feel like that. So that's one reason. This is the perfect segue to reason number three. And reason number three is that she doesn't feel comfortable. You don't seem too comfortable. I've never met a girl before that doesn't feel comfortable before she sleeps with me. She's got to feel comfortable, guys. Think about it. She's making a decision to go home with a stranger. How could you be so stupid to confide your feelings to a stranger? and sleep with him. She's got to feel comfortable. She's got to feel like she's not going to be used. So you got to make sure she gets those feelings as well. So you combine all these feelings and you combine all these things. Not only is she going to want to sleep with you, but she's going to want to see you again. I want to see him again. And that's really important because in this YouTube channel, we're not teaching you just how to score loads of women. We're teaching you how to retain them. We're teaching you how to make them fall in love with you. It took me a long time to fall in love with you, Dick.
And this is what's required as a non-negotiable to make that happen. So guys, without further ado, if you want that type of lifestyle, that type of abundance, you're tired of struggling, click the link below and sign up for a 10 week program. We'll get you right on board and we'll fix all those issues you're going through right now. We'll talk to you next time, boys.